In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this kick. So this kick is made in Serum, it is right here with two automation clips and kind of a lot of insert effects. Let's first of all turn off the insert effects and check out the Serum itself. I'm gonna remove the pacer for now. So this is the sound without effects. I'm just using a sine wave with pitch envelope and volume envelope like so. In French score, I basically want to get this kind of rhythm going on. So this is the tail and the sub. The sub and the tail are both running through the same filter. The A oscillator is only going to the effects in here. With effects, big thing is kind of this EQ and this EQ automation. As you can see, I'm just moving around this bell peak to this distortion. Really simple stuff and I am using 5 voices of unison inside the oscillator B but I turned the width all the way to zero so we are not going to get any tail to our stereo field. That is basically the sound. This wavetable can be found from Biomorphic and it is one of these single wavetables. You can see the name here if you wanna remake this patch yourself. This is super simple, the patch itself. But now without the effects, if I turn on the pacer, it sounds really really weird. When I turn on the effects, we get the correct sound. So the pacer makes a huge difference because it is before all these effects. And let's go through these effects. The stereo shaper is in here with these settings. If you want to replicate this, when you pull down all of these faders to minus 6 dp, the sound turns into mono. So I want to turn the sound mono before it goes through any of these effects. You can also turn your sound mono in here, but this is after the fader, so to speak. And um, yeah, the effects. Some static EQ. First of all, and after this I have some EQ automation. The automations are here. I am automating the level and the frequency of this band. So it does something like this, basically. After this we have this plugin that one of my friends uh, showed me. It is a free plugin and looks kind of ridiculous. But um, it works <laughs> pretty fine for this. Um, some more EQ, I'm removing the harshest high end with this one. The wave shaper, the shape is like this. So yeah, but um, you can of course manipulate this however you like. And this pre knob is pretty important with wave shaper. Uh, at least in FL Studio it makes a big difference. As you can clear here. After this, some fast distortion, some mix EQ, removing some of the harshness from the sound. And after this, this is pretty important. I am using the multi band mode in the Trust unit with Trust 2, but the high and the low bands are doing nothing. I am only distorting the mid frequencies because they are pretty irritating if you listen the mids and when we turn on the trash it, it's much better so i use this faulty section and this faulty transistor mode with low amount of mix and that's my sound now i rendered it out threw it into nimble kick did some little bit of tweaking at a little bit of distortion with this kick effects thing It is kind of like your choice if you want to use this or not, because you can clearly hear that the kick is just fine without the distortion. 
somebody might like it without distortion, somebody might like it with the distortion. Just a little bit of transient boosting in here, and of course I separated the tail and the punch in this plugin so I can pitch the kick up however I like. And inside the mixer channel, we have nothing over here. So that's the kick. 